This has been happening for many generations. Nothing new. I think it's just getting a lot more press lately. Hey, it's Noel coming to you with another video here. It's been a little while since I did a video. It's kind of taken a hiatus during the election and just really just super busy. So sometimes I find it a little bit hard to come up with ideas and, and content. And I need to just kind of get back to turning on the camera and seeing what's on my mind. I feel like a broken record sometime because we're seeing so much in the news taking small snippets of data and basing a thesis of a housing crash on it that it just gets a little bit frustrating. There's some great journalists out there and there's some more people that are a little bit more on the content writing side than less on the journalist side. What's interesting, we're talking about mortgage applications. So they were down 0.5%, but they're still up 16% year over year. What was interesting with this data is that refinances are up. So there's some things that could be inferred with this. Look, we're dealing with a huge low supply of housing with a record number of people that need to buy a house. And whether that's people that are moving out of the cities that want to move to the suburbs, there's quite a few of that happening. Don't worry, the cities aren't going anywhere. Or it's the millennials that held off and the millennials that are coming into the home buying age. They're starting families, they're getting married, they want to buy a house, they're moving out of the cities into the suburban areas. This has been happening for many generations. It's nothing new. I think it's just getting a lot lot more press lately and talking about how this is such a big deal. Well, it's always been happening. It's just that there's a lot of people. So until that housing supply starts to loosen up, we're going to see elevated housing prices. Now, what's interesting, a lot of people are talking about this, and I think CoreLogic has it right on this. We're kind of hitting that affordability mark. We're hitting up to that affordability ceiling. So what does that mean? Does it mean a housing crash? No, it doesn't necessarily mean a housing crash because there's still a tight supply of housing. There's plenty of equity in homes. Even those who've lost their jobs, they can sell their house and there's a market for that. What it means is that appreciation may level off for the next year. And that's what we're seeing from CoreLogic is they're talking about the appreciation level. And, and a lot of other economists, a lot of other data companies are saying this as well. The appreciation level is going to level off for the next year. Rents may even see a little bit flat for the next year. Wages hopefully catch up. That's not a crash. You see a lot of people writing about appreciation has declined. It's a housing crash. House values are down. No, house values aren't down. It's just that the appreciation has slowed down. Even if it's flat from the acceleration that we've seen in the last year, that's okay because we really need everything to kind of catch up to that trend line that we see year over year. I'm seeing a lot of new markets though that weren't appreciating markets previously that are going to be appreciating markets and continue to appreciate. And and we're working with some funds that are really working into that model of buying based on appreciation, not just yield, because the yields are getting compressed. So what do you do when the yields are compressed? Well, you need to find appreciating markets. Are those the top tier markets? Sometimes. I don't know if you want to call them second tier markets or tertiary markets, but strong, fundamentally strong markets outside of major metropolitan areas or even new markets that aren't in major metropolitan areas that are going to appreciate going forward. And I know some really smart people who are trying to figure this out and they're going to buy low yield properties, really be able to hit the market hard, but then count on that appreciation. And if they're right about this, they're going to be very successful. So just want to throw all that out there. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Love to hear from you. Talk to you soon. Thanks.